So, it's a calm, warm summer night. I'm sat in my room, alone, watching Shroud, my favourite streamer, play PUBG. Man, I was enjoying the stream so much. And honestly, what I mostly liked about it was how close Shroud was with his community. They were practically hanging out, talking about dumb stuff together and having a great time. And that's when it hit me. You see, I wanted a community like that of my own. People that I would hang out with, share my thoughts with, and simply have a pleasant time with. And one way that I thought of that could get me to my goal was streaming. And sure enough, I downloaded OBS, I set it up, and I opened Minecraft, the game that I chose to play at the time, and I pressed the stream button in OBS. Man, I was so excited to go live for the first time, I was over the moon. But little did I know, my upload speed was too low for me to stream with. The stream was simply too laggy, it froze and lagged every second. The stream was unfortunately unwatchable. <sighs> at that moment, I felt crushed, disappointed. I was very close to getting the one thing that I wanted most, my very own community. But if you're watching this video right now, chances are that you have gone through a similar experience. But what if I told you that that 18 year old boy sitting in his room in a warm summer night with a crushed dream, he never gave up and that he spent the few next month looking for and testing the best settings for streaming with OBS with low internet speed because he did and today I'm going to be sharing these settings that I found with you so you can stream and build a community of your own and have a good time so ladies and gentlemen sit back relax and enjoy this short tutorial on the best settings for streaming with a slow internet Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is head to speedtest.net and do a speed test on your internet connection so you know what you're working with. The download speed is not really relevant to streaming, so only notice your upload speed. Okay, now open OBS Studio and then head to this big button saying settings. Press it once and this window should appear. Go to the stream tab as the first thing to do. If you are streaming to Twitch, make sure you select the closest server to you physically okay so basically if you live in new york select the new york server do not select the los angeles server because then your stream will be lagging okay for the video tab you're gonna notice the base canvas resolution which is gonna be your monitor's native resolution chances are you're not gonna be needing to change this but just in case it's not your monitor's native resolution go ahead and change it to your monitor's native resolution the output scaled resolution on the other hand we are gonna be changing the table that i put right now on the screen should tell you what resolution to choose in the output scaled resolution based on your upload speed in speedtest.net so for me it would be 420 times 270 as for the downscale filter make sure this one says lang source because it's going to improve your quality ever so slightly so anyways this make sure this drop down menu says common fps values and and according to the table i have liberty to choose between 25 fps and 30 fps so since i'm going to be streaming games i'm going to be selecting 30 fps and i cannot go above it or my stream will be lagging now let's move to the output tab make sure the output mode says advanced and now make sure you are in the streaming menu for the audio track make sure number one is selected for the encoder, make sure you select the NVIDIA or the AMD option if available. If it's not available, you can select this option right there. Go ahead and tick this option right here saying enforce stream service encoder settings. As for the rate control, go ahead and select VBR. Now what to stop in the bitrate field? Now going back to the table that I made that I'm going to be putting on the screen right now. Depending on the resolution you type, go ahead and type the equivalent bitrate in this bitrate field. For me, it's going to be 350. As for the maximum bitrate, go ahead and open your calculator. Take your upload speed that you took from speedtest.net, which for me was 0.75. And go ahead and multiply that by 1000. And then go ahead and press equals. As you can see, it's 750. Go ahead and type 750 over there and now we are done with the bitrate settings. The keyframe interval go ahead and make sure this one says 1. Some streaming services recommend you put it on 2 but 1 works for me. Now for the preset. Open this drop down menu and you have liberty to choose between quality and performance. If you chose quality and you, f and you face some encoding overload problems or you stream lags, go ahead and go down to performance but do not go lower than performance. Do not take look ahead, but do take cycle visual tuning if available. The max B frames, go ahead and make sure this one says two. And for now, press apply. Just like that, we are done with the settings. Anyways, those were the settings on how to stream. And that was the story on how I decided to find them. 
If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join our community of over 2,500 people. Drop a like in today's video so you can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. And with that being said, I will leave you guys with a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Prism Live Studio. Check out Prism Live Studio, the best app to record, live stream and edit your content through your Android, Windows or iOS device. Learn more through the link on top of the description.